was the intro screen. And what you'll see is actually a little bit embarrassing because it's pretty primitive. So we started with the StarCraft 1 units. We didn't have any new units. Uh, this was the early versions of the models. The UI obviously needed a bit of alignment, alignment work to actually get it properly working. And uh, we didn't have a sound engine yet, so no sound in the video. So all we did at that point was just getting the old StarCraft 1 stuff actually working. And the explosions were absolutely awesome. <laughs> so if we move it further off, that was a year later, 2006. So now we actually put in some, something that would look more like a genuine model of the game. Uh, we had a cliff system that was put in, some basic lighting. Uh, we were kind of experimenting with the Terrans at this point. Um, I think, uh, let's see, what did we have? We were putting in some uh, new units, if we're going to see in a few minutes. Yeah, it's not there, but uh, we put in the particle systems, which would allow us to show actual blood coming out of the and all that kind of stuff. So that was our first version of that. And then this was a couple months later. So this is when we actually started putting in new units. And some of the units you'll see today have actually been either heavily modified or they're actually gone from the game. So there's the Guardian in there, there's the Cobra that has changed, uh, the Thor was much bigger back then. Uh, so we put in some special effects and some beams at that point, and the explosions were actually a little bit improved. Um, at that point, where were we? I think, oh yeah, we started working on the Protoss. Uh, the early version of the pyl pylon energy grid we put in. Um, we had our first experiments. You can see some dragoons that were still in the game back then. Uh, the purifier, which is one of the units that we subsequently killed. Uh, and this is what creep looks like when you put a bunch of programmers in a room without an artist to actually give them direction. Um, but we had our first version of the creep uh, at, at a prototype stage at this point. Moving on, 2006 in October, this is when put in, we put in the glow tech in the game and the high dynamic range colors. So we started putting beams as well and all sorts of cool effects in Ash Half today. What you see here is actually the old Archon, which was much bigger and you could actually spawn it by just merging three Templars together. This is the mechanic we subsequently changed. So this is an actual much closer version of the creep that we actually put in later. If you look in the video, you'll see it was actually reflective. This is something we, we changed afterwards, because uh, it was kind of slow, the creep was pretty slow, and it was kind of distracting to actually see twice the same unit on the same screen. But at that point, we, are, we had really started to dial down the look of the Zerg and the Theron and the Protoss, and actually getting something that looks a lot closer to what we have today. As, does anybody remember seeing the announcement of StarCraft II uh, in Korea, like the early videos? This is the build that we use, and this was, this was the first time we showed it to public. Blizzard actually shipped the whole team to Korea, and they, we had this huge stadium to actually see uh, how the people would receive the game. It was the most exciting moment. Uh, in my life, really. Uh, this is July 2007. We put in foliage uh, on the terrain, as you can see. So we were starting to really polish up the maps and actually give them uh, a more uh, finished look. This one, we put in the line of sight blockers. The first time we experimented with that mechanic. And then uh, a few months later, October 2007, we put in scorch marks underneath buildings, kind of little polished items to really kind of anchor buildings to the terrain and actually give the final uh, look for buildings. So at that point, we were actually quite close to the look of the game that we have today. But this was 2007, so you're probably wondering what the hell have these guys been doing in just three years between shipping. Well, we optimized the game, and we fixed some bugs, and we worked on the single-player campaign. Uh, that was 2008. And then in uh, 2009, we optimized the game some more, and we fixed more bugs, and we worked on the campaign some more, until 12,000 builds later, we shipped version one of StarCraft that we have today.
So let's move on to 